So it's a really exciting time here at Stellar. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick from Stellar and BenchJeweler.com, and we are so excited to talk to the modern goldsmith himself, Jordan Mansky, joining us. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm so great. Yeah, thank you for having me. Look, we have this great new partnership that I'm so excited about. You can learn about it right now at Stellar.com slash Modern Goldsmith. And uh, so much great information, Jordan. Uh, we really wanted to team up and, and really get some tools in your hand because everything that you're about is all about creating this great custom jewelry. You have really ushered in kind of a whole new generation to appreciate this stuff. And people love to see you work and love your take on things. So let's start there. First of all, nice to meet you. And, yeah, uh, you and tell us, what's the draw? Um, honestly, you know, in a world where everything is so instant, um, you know, with our smartphones and everything else, I think people are starting to kind of turn back to, you know, watching people do crafts and making things with their own hands. And um, so, yeah, that's, I think that's where a lot of the interest comes with um, putting my work online. Yeah. And, and you know, you're super humble. You're acting like maybe 12 <laughs> people want to see what you do, but a very active Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, of course, millions of views there. We're going to talk about that Ariana Grande engagement ring. I know people <laughs> want me to ask about it, so I will. And we're going to okay. talk about that coming up. Um, yeah. But, y you know, you talk about doing things with your hands and sort of you know, I almost see it as like getting back to where it started. I mean, the industry as a whole has sort of, you know, it's been a bit rid of a roller coaster and what people are into. And lately people want something that no one else has, mm -hmm. something that means something to them, you know, even on some of the charms and, and those sorts of things which are seeing become real popular. Um, and, and you're right there at the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's totally true. Like anything that's personalized, customized or, um, really anything exclusive as well as seems to be all the rage right now. And that, you know, falls right in line with what I'm trying to do here. So. Yeah. And I, I think you really hit the nail on the head. You're perfect for this. And uh, we're super excited again, stellar.com slash modern goldsmith. We have a little bit of a contest set up. Um, we know there has been a ton of people who have asked us, you know, to, to do something with you. Okay. You're the mm -hmm. superstar and we love this. And I know you don't, <laughs> I know you don't love that title and that's okay. No. Um, but you know, it's really cool. We want to get people involved and we're also giving away a few things along the way, a few really big things from yeah. an actual bench to a bench light and some other tools really to get started. I, you know, mm -hmm. I love the excitement that you give to people because they see you doing these things and you know, even someone who's watching is probably not thinking they can do it as good as you, but they want to try and want to learn. Oh no, that's, that's where I come in handy. Like I love to teach people. I love to show the process. And honestly, there's lots of um, goldsmiths and jewelers that I look up to and you know, the people who came before me, the, the people who taught me and even um, my contemporaries online, there's just so many talented people out there and um, it's just great to be a part of it, honestly. Okay. So if someone wants to take that, that jump and they want to go from, you know, maybe buying store-bought components i won't even call them really findings at that point which you know we call in the jewelry industry but you know, they're buying these little pieces and want to get started you know what are some of the things you're talking about as far as just just getting started day one what, is, what does someone need yeah so you know i've always said like one of the hardest parts about becoming a goldsmith or a jeweler bench jeweler is just not having the equipment and a lot of times it's you know it can be cost prohibitive or they don't even know where to begin um, I was lucky enough to have a family member who was a goldsmith and then I trained under him and a few other different bench jewelers. So I kind of was able to learn on someone else's tools. Yeah. And then I was finally able to um, go out on my own when I got all the tools there. And then honestly, um, I've been building my tool collection like over the years. So it's not like you have to have everything yeah. um, from the very beginning, but definitely a bench somewhere to work, you know? just that dedicated space. You yeah, know, exactly. I know, I know you have that. It's, it's featured very prominently in your videos and your posts because it is that creative space. Uh, what is it like to walk into that area? I mean, does the inspiration just happen? Is there, I mean, kind of paint the picture for me. Is there music playing? Cause I would have music playing. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. What is it like? Yeah, I definitely always have these headphones on um, to get some music playing. Um, I started coming in really early lately. Like I come into the shop at like 6 a.m. now because it's just so quiet. I kind of work in a yeah. busy um, area downtown. So when I'm able to come in in the morning, it's just so quiet and kind of there's a lot of, it's just like very tranquil. Um, 
And to be honest, I've been trying to do a lot better about keeping my space clean. Um, a lot of people or my wife would definitely laugh at me because like by nature, I'm extremely messy. And I think a lot of jewelers, <laughs> if you look at their bench, they're not always like pristine by any means, but I've been working on, um, you know, every tool has its right place. Um, so that way, and, and then to put things back when you're done the day before, so that way when you walk in, you don't have a bunch of distractions. So that's still something I'm working on, yeah. I love to talk um, to bench jewelers that you come into our facility here at Stellar. Uh, when we have those in-person events, fingers crossed, those will be back soon. But when yeah. we have people in, and you really see these pictures of their bench, kind of like you talk about, and there's things everywhere, and they don't even look up to see what they're grabbing. It's almost like <laughs> they just know where it's supposed to be, and that's where mm -hmm. it's supposed to be. So that's, that's really cool. And you know what? Uh, we can get people set up with that. And I, you know, like you said, you got to start with a bench. So that's one of the cool things that we're giving away. Um, again, stellar.com slash modern goldsmith. You can find yeah. all the information there. We're going to, there's a video of you there really showing some of these things and, and maybe some of like the little tricks that you've come across, which is really cool. Um, the Ariana Grande engagement ring. All right. Yeah. I'm telling you that the people on my way into this interview were like, you have to ask <laughs> um, this video, by the way, like over uh, 1.1 million views on YouTube. And it's you literally reacting number one it's it's very interesting and then also kind of turning it around in some CAD software just to kind of get an idea of you know maybe not the specific you know little intricate details but generally so tell us about it and and they plug the video man may as well get it to two million views <laughs> yeah that one is so funny because a lot of my videos I had a plan going in like I'm going to you know fix this ring that was cut off someone's hand I know or I'm going cool to too. You know, I'm like, I'm do, like, it's very planned when I come into the shop. That day, literally, I just was asked about it. And then I went on Twitter and I saw the ring. And I just kind of had like a um, spontaneous moment where I'm like, I'm just going to pull up the camera right now and just go, yeah. you know, no forethought, which is normally not how I like to do things. But I'm like, yeah. I got to act quickly because she just got engaged. So there's going to be buzz about it like right now. Yeah. So that was kind of my motivation to do it quickly. And to be honest, it's kind of funny because I've never really made a reaction video. So it's not really like most reaction videos where, you know, they're watching it or there's like a lot of big reactions. It's kind of not like that at all. And honestly, I don't even give that much feedback on the ring itself. It's just kind of a fun video. Um, it is. It's just, yeah. So I'm just like, it was, it was totally unexpected that it got that many views, honestly. And look how good it is. I mean, it is so natural. It is so authentic. Do you find people, you know, asking for things they see on celebrities or, or something inspired? I mean, now this one, you know, in all fairness, I don't even know if we said it, but it's a large oval diamond with a pearl on the side of it. Asymmetrical. Yeah. All the old school jewelers are looking at it like that, yeah, that would fall off it. someone's hand, you yeah. know? Yeah. But um, yeah. it, hey, it kind of opens the door. Yeah. Um, Honestly, a lot of, I don't have a lot of people asking for specific celebrity rings, but a lot of times when I'm working with a client, I'll tell them, hey, like, go ahead and send over any inspiration you have. A lot of times they want me to put my artistic touch on it, but it's always good to have like kind of a base, a starting point to know, oh, you like halo or you like bezel or you like thin yeah. bands or whatever it is, or what shape of stone you like. So people will normally send me like stuff they find on Pinterest or sometimes celebrity rings, but not, not always. And then I can kind of, once I see a bunch of stuff together, I can kind of get a picture of what it is they're looking for. And then I can put my own, you know, artistic spin on it. That's, that's awesome. The modern yeah. goldsmith, Jordan Mansky. Hey, thanks for the time today. Yeah. Um, happy to have a fresh voice in this industry, really to show the, the fun part and kind of get back to basics. Jordan, the pleasure has been all mine. It's yeah. great talking to you. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate your time.